Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am here today to share with you a fun project. This is the pattern Brightly and it is made by designer Allison Harris for Cluck Cluck Sew. And every once in a while I see a quilt and I'm just like, oh, I have to make that. And then when I saw how she made it and it fits so well with the kind of things I do, um, I asked her permission to actually do a tutorial on this. So run, don't walk to get your copy of this pattern because it is a great pattern, really fun, really easy, and I get to show you how to do it. So let's look at the quilt. I love anything that chains. You know how these chain? I love that how it chains. I love stars. And I just, I just think this is the cutest, cutest block. So it's made up of two blocks. And uh, here it is right here, a star block and then this intersecting block right here. And it's just as cute as it can be. So let me show you how to do this. So to make the Brightly quilt, you're gonna need one packet of 10 inch squares and we have used Magic Colors 10 by Wilmington Essentials. You're also going to need two and a half yards of background fabric. For your backing, you'll need four yards and you're going to need the Brightly pattern by Cluck Cluck Sew. So let's open up her pattern and see what she says. Now, if you know, guys know me at all, you know typically I am not a pattern reader, um, but she writes patterns for the both ways people learn. Her graphics are incredible. So I always say I quilt by picture because if I can look at the picture and figure it out, then that's what I'm doing. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, a layer cake square, 10 inch square. Now her pattern is written for fat quarters and pre-cuts. And of course I use pre-cuts, so that's what I'm gonna show you. And 23 of your 10 inch squares, you're gonna cut into four and a half inch squares. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get some of those right here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay my ruler on the edge like this, and I'm gonna come in four and a half inches like this, and then cut one more piece four and a half. And then I'm gonna stack these and then cut four and a half again. So lay it, my, my uh, half inch line is right here on this edge. There's one and there's two right here. And you're gonna do that to 19 of your squares, just like that. Um, I'm sorry, to 23 of your squares. The other 19, you're gonna take and you're gonna stack up and you're gonna cut those all into two and a half inch squares. And basically, if you cut this just right, you'll get two and a half strips out of the whole thing like this. And you're gonna do this to 19 of the squares. Oops, I wavered a little right there. I'm just gonna go back and kind of correct that. And then I'm gonna stack these on top of each other like this. And then I have four stacked on top of each other. And I like to use my little, my, um, my little ruler for this and I'm gonna go two and a half like this. And two and a half. And of course you can do it this way too. <clears throat> it's a very versatile little ruler. All right, so then you have piles of these and you have piles of those and you're ready to start putting your blocks together. So we're gonna start with this star block and you can see right here how it fits. Now, one of the things I want you to notice is that because this is a separate block, you literally can put anything in here. And Allison recently did a quilt with pumpkins inside there and it's just so cute. So think of outside the box on this because this block literally could be anything. So this block is made up of a star and then four corner blocks. I'll show you how to make the corner blocks first. It's like this. So you're also gonna to need to cut some background fabric. You're gonna need some five inch squares, some two and a half inch, uh, and by four and a half inch rectangles and some two and a half inch squares. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick one of our two and a half inch squares and we're gonna pick another two and a half inch squares and we're gonna sew those together like this. And so quarter inch right down the side. And then we're going to attach it to a 
two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle, and that's going to go along the side like this. And we are just going to make those. And then we're going to press this open, and you're going to make four of these, one for each corner, this block right here. So you'll make four of those. All right, so now we're going to make the star. We're going to take four of our five inch squares like this. I'm sorry, these are probably four and a half, aren't they? Okay, so we're going to take four of our four and a half inch squares like this. We're going to choose one of the four and a half inch squares that we have um, cut from our layer cakes for the center block, and then we need some star legs. And you're going to need eight two and a half inch squares for your star legs. So I will use this little pile of orange right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to snowball the corner of this, four of these on the corner. This is going to make our star legs. So we're going to do that to four of these squares, snowball the corner. And let me get going on those. So I'm going to actually sew corner to corner using my diagonal seam tape right here, which, by the way, Allison also invented the diagonal seam tape. And so it's kind of fun to have those two projects come together. So we're sewing across this um, using our diagonal seam tape. Now you can draw the line, you can iron a line, whatever you want, just so that you get from corner to corner pretty straight. We got one more here, like this. And then you're going to do one more as well. So you're going to do four of these. And I'm just going to do one to show you how they work. And then I'm going to show you how to put these together because I've already made them. All right, so I'm going to trim this edge off right here, like this. And we're going to press this back. Now to get the star leg, we're going to add another piece and we're just going to snowball the other side, right like this. And this will give us our star leg. All right, let's trim it off. And press it back. Now you're going to need four of these, so let me show you how this goes together because I have some made here. I have four corner blocks that look like this. One, two, three, four, and ours are scrappy. Let me see, where's my other one? Here it is. And then we kept our star legs the same, so we have four of those. This is just where we snowballed the corners. And then here's our middle block. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this together like this. I like to put my middle out, then I'm going to put my star legs around it like this. And that's going to make our star. And then the corners are going to come in here and the color is going to go to the outside because that um, kind of assists the chain, uh, the secondary block in chaining. So this way out here and like this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up row one and sew these together. And we're just going to line those up, sew a quarter of an inch down the side. And then this one as well, remembering that your colored square is on the outside. Yeah, if you turn that color square to the inside, it's a whole new something. something. All right, there's that. Now we're going to pick up the next row, which means we're going to sew two star legs to either side of that center block. Like this. And then our bottom row, we're going to sew our outside corners to those center star legs as well. Remembering that the color stays to the outside. And then this one. I always have to check because otherwise I did get a few of them turned around. You know, you get, you get in a, you know, rote sewing where you're just sewing along and you're not thinking and all of a sudden you're like, oh, snap, that should have been onto the outside. 
All right, so lay it and check it again, and then we'll sew these three rows together. Now you'll notice I haven't pressed them, and that's because I wanna make those seams, uh, I wanna make them nest. And so I'm going to turn my, uh, the center seam block to the middle. And make sure that this one is turned that way as well. And then I'll press the whole thing when I'm done. All right, so there's those two and this one over here. Again, I'm remembering that my center seam goes to the middle. To the middle, it has to be coaxed sometimes, but you are the boss of it. All right. So here's our little finished block and we'll press that so it's nice and flat. And just like that, you've got this darling little star and I'm gonna press these out so they lay nice and flat. Look at that, how cute is that? All right, so let's talk about this next block. For the next block, you're gonna choose five squares um, that you've cut into four and a half. And so we're gonna go with a green and a blue, a pink and an orange. And then maybe we can put this dark green in the center. So these go on the corners like this. And then one of these goes in the middle like this. I think I'm gonna put my pink one right in the middle. All right. Now these little blocks that go in the center, these are made up of a two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle, which I have right here. And then two little pieces, two little two and a half inch squares that are scrappy. And so we're just gonna sew uh, four sets of these together. And so let me get one, two, and you wanna try to keep them different from the fabrics that you have out. Three, four, and I'll just sew a few of them so that um, you can see how I do this. I chain pieced these. And uh, so you're gonna sew two like this. And then we'll sew. And I just kept putting my two inch squares together. I did it by block. You can actually do the whole quilt if you wanna count them up and figure out how many of these to do. But um, it's just easy. Once you get sewing a certain thing, it's easy to do all of that one thing. All right, so now we have these two that are sewn together and we are going to add them to a two and a half by four and a half inch rectangle. And so right down the side, like this. And so this block, you're gonna need four of to make the second block. So let me just go ahead and iron this nice and flat. And so then these are gonna go color in to the middle like this. All right, so I have some of those cut out over here, or I mean already sewn together over here. So we're gonna put this, we're gonna have, all right, so I'm gonna finish these other two up so that we can finish up our block. And I'm just gonna press those back. And then we will add them to our two and a half by four and a half rectangle. All right, here we go. And one more. All right, so let me press these down. And I think this seam is gonna wanna go the other way. So lift this up this way. All right. So now we just face these toward the center like this, and that secondary block is done. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sew these corners together, three rows of three. It's like a giant nine patch with different blocks in there. There's that one. Now this center block has the two, uh, the two little two and a half inch square blocks to the middle. 
like this. And then here's the bottom row. This was really such a quick, fun pattern to make. I mean, I just really loved it. And I love the idea that anything can be in that secondary space. I love that she's already done one with pumpkins in it. That is so fun to me. All right, we're gonna turn that middle seam to the inside. And on this, both sides. And nest up our seam. And on this bottom one over here, we'll add it. Turn that one in. Now let's press this one. So cute. And such a simple block, but when you put them together, the effect is just stunning, really stunning. All right, so let's look at how these go together on the quilt. We've got two star blocks on the top and the one, two, three of the setting block, the secondary block, the chaining block. And then we start with a star chaining block star, chaining block star. So just alternate them when you put them up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six rows across, uh, five in a row, so 30 blocks. This makes a quilt, um, this makes a quilt that is 60 by 72. So it's a great size quilt. No border on this one, just our binding. And the backing back here is just this cute little um, kind of blue cloud sky looking fabric. And we quilted it with stars and loops. Really cute, but wait, I've got to show you. I loved this so much that I couldn't wait to see what it would look like in another fabric. So of course, Christmas is getting close. And so I wanted to make it in Christmas fabric. Natalie, can you come help me hold this up? Natalie's gonna join me for a minute here. So look how cute this is. Look at this. Now I love a border. You guys know I love a border. So I added an inner border and an outer border and that does change the size of the quilt. It makes it bigger. But I also want you to notice that in the center of my stars and in the center of my secondary chaining block, I fussy cut little things in there. This was a line, so isn't it so cute? This was a line that uh, lent itself to a little bit of fuss, fussy cutting. And I just thought it was really, really cute. So if you wanna make one like mine, I added an inner two and a half inch border and an outer, a five inch border on it. I used the Snowflake Wind, a quilting pattern on it. And of course this line had a cute little binding with a stripe in it, which I just think is adorable. So the backing cute. is that Christmas plaid oh, that is beautiful. just so fun. And you can, you can really pattern. see the quilting on that back, so pretty. So I just really love this pattern. I love the name. I love how well it's written. The graphics on it are just beautiful. And for those of you who are pattern readers, it'll work great. For those of you who quilt by picture like me, we can do this pattern. And so I just think it's really fun. I'm really grateful to Allison for letting us use it and show it. And I hope you guys have fun. I think this is gonna be really a great addition to all your quilting things. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Brightly Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you aren't already part of the Missouri Star Quilt Company family, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss a thing. And if you click that bell, it'll notify you every time a new tutorial comes out. See you next Friday.